so good evening friends welcome to bscis so a very happy independence day to all my dear students so so today i have also come uh, again come back with a trending topic or current topic and it is also very interesting topic to to know for your exam in both upsc is and opsc os so what is the topic in news that is banking reserve system full and fractional reserve system okay so this 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 was currently in news because of two incidents okay what are those incidents first incident you have seen in the punjab maharashtra cooperative bank what happens in this bank in the covid situation what happened all the people all the customers of that bank at one point of time they have gone to bank and asked for their money that they have been deposited okay so when all person at this time at a time they will go to bank and they will ask you money at the bank can bank be able to finance their needs at that point of time no it's not possible that if we all the customer of one single bank goes at a one time and are demand for money what they have deposited bank will not able to finance their need or their ask because that will be that in uh, coming section now another incident i will talk about that is silicon valley bank so this happened in us okay the previous punjab maharashtra cooperation bank definitely happened in india and this happened in us so the, but the concept behind you know this failure of the bank to meet the demands of the people is same what is that concept what is that term that is known as bank run okay that is known as bank run what is bank run condition when all the depositors of one bank they go at one point of time and ask bank money so bank will what what banks will collapse bank will not have sufficient money to you know to demand to finance their needs and that point of time bank will definitely it will collapse and that condition is known as bank run so that this is very important about okay bank run so upsc has a tendency to ask the statement like uh, picking up this terms from this news and ask you what does this mean suppose bank run bank haircut so these are terms these are economic terms which you can see in the current uh, news so bank run is simply uh, easy to understand is nothing but when all the depositors go at some point uh, go at a bank and demand for money okay at one single point of time and the bank will, that which will lead to collapsing of the bank and that condition is known as bank run so you can see i have given just a small definition of bank run so this happens when the people they try to withdraw all of their funds for fear of the bank collapse getting so people will go to the bank in the fear that bank will collapse okay so they will ask money from the bank immediately just give my money back okay second when this is done simultaneously by many depositors the bank can run out of cash now this is the word the bank will run out of cash exactly obviously if because this, that is this is not the matter of 10 crore or 100 crore no? the bank the depositors the bank they have large depositors some thousands ten thousands one lakh so how can bank will able to you know give their money back in one in, in a, in a uh, just immediately or in one single point of time in that case what will happen bank will run out of cash okay now before going into the concept that is full and partial uh, full and partial or you can say fractional reserve banking system we need to understand two terms dealing with this concept okay what are the two terms one term is your demand deposit and second is your time deposit okay these are two basic terms so whenever you uh, go uh, in a, any bank suppose let's say you went into SBI bank and opened an account okay so you have two different types of account which you can opt for one is your demand deposit account and one you can opt for time deposit account if you have opted for demand deposit account then what will happen the whatever money you have deposited in this account whenever you need money okay whenever you need your money the bank is bound to give that money okay what amount of money suppose you have deposited 10000 rupee under this demand deposit okay now you go to bank some other day in in working day obviously not in uh, holidays so you go in working day and demand for rupees 10000 or demand less than this money for example 5000 or 6000 so in this case bank is bound you know bank is bound to give you money because you have deposited under which type of account that is demand deposit account okay if you go by the definition what you say a demand deposit account is a bank account from which people from which deposited fund can be withdrawn at any time without advance notice okay suppose you have deposited your money for example in monday of a week okay and next day you need that money back 
if you have deposited in this demand deposit account, so bank will give you definitely, bank will not deny you any sum of money because it is under demand, on your demand, on your demand, bank has to finance that need. But another type of account is what? Time deposit. Okay. If you have deposited your money under this account, time deposit account, and you go to bank, okay, you have, you have, suppose you have opened a time deposit account in HDFC bank of rupees 1 lakh. On, on suppose Monday, now you will go back after Monday or you came to bank on Wednesday and you will ask, give me that 1 lakh back to me. So will the bank will give you? No. Bank will directly, it will reject you. Why? Because you have account, you are deposited under time deposit. What it says that, the whatever you have money deposited under this account, it will be logged for a specific duration or period. For example, one year, two year, three year, more than that year. Okay. So, for example, you have seen that your parents have been doing FD, fixed deposit and RD, okay, recurring deposit. So, these are what? These are type of time deposit, where your money has been logged for certain duration of time period. Okay. So, bank, if you suddenly go in the bank without giving any notice, bank will not give you money. Bank needs some time to give you money because as it has been logged. Okay. It has a locking period of some years, whatever years you are choosing. So, if your these two concepts are clear, then it is very easy to understand this ba uh, banking reserve system, pool and fractional. Okay, just keep this definition or concept in your mind and apply in this uh, concept. Okay, what is the concept now? So, okay, before uh, going to the concept, I have created one scenario. Okay, one uh, scenario which is not real life scenario exactly, but assume a bank, suppose SBI and HDFC bank. Okay, then what I said, there are basically two types of deposit account we can maintain in any bank. One is time demand deposit, one is your time deposit. For example, in time deposit of that bank, it has 100 crore in total. And in the demand deposit of bank, it has 100 crore in total. So, what is the total deposit? Simply math, the total deposit will be 200 crore. And you know, banks are different types of customers. In this example, I have taken five customers, A, B, C, D and E. I have taken five customer and what and I have taken the need that this is wrongly edited. Okay, make it 20 crore. So what I have taken five customer and what I have made the demand is each customer they need 20 crore from that bank. Okay, each customer need 20 crore as a loan from that bank. Okay, if we assume, okay, let's say bank is able to give him 20 crore loan to this 20 crore to this 20, 20, 20. What happens is 100 crore. Getting? So, if bank is able to give all this person 20 crore loan, so total sum will come 100. Now, what will happen if some other individual, think if some other individual or the customer comes and asks for demand, asks for loan, okay. And suppose in this I have stated, this F now enters into that bank and asks for money. The bank give me uh, if I uh, uh, will you finance my need of 20 crore or 1 crore anything so under remember under full reserve banking system under what full reserve banking system bank will deny that the person f of any kind of loan why because under full reserve banking system bank only uses time deposit to finance the need of the customer okay bank will not use the demand deposit so once this as these people have taken 20 crore each totaling 100 crore that bank the time deposit whatever <coughs> deposited <coughs> under time deposit okay it gets exhausted now bank do not have a single penny to lend to the person f okay and bank will not touch its demand deposit because if bank will touch demand deposit what happens if all that people what if this if bank touches the demand deposit, then there is a case, case of what? Bank run. Because if assume that bank has given the person F out of 100 crore, 20 crore. Okay. Then what happens that 80 crore will be left with the bank. If the next day only all of the customer will come and ask for that money deposited in demand deposit account. Now bank has given what? 20 crore. So bank will be running a deficit of 20 crore. Okay. So 20 crore will be a deficit. And this will lead to correct what was the situation that we have uh, seen in the previous slide that it will lead to the condition of bank run where bank will not be able to meet the need of its depositor. Okay. So, in this case, under full reserve banking system, I have can see under full reserve banking system, F will not get loan as the bank has exhausted the time deposit limit 
and the bank cannot use DD demand deposit for extending loan. This is the case. Already bank has adjusted the under code that is time deposit limit. So F now comes into, into the picture. Now bank will deny because bank will not touch. It will not use demand deposit for extending loan. If the bank would have used demand deposit to finance the need of F, it will create a condition which we have studied that is bank run. Okay. So F will not be getting any loan. But what happens in fractional reserve banking system? In fractional reserve banking, same, same scenario. The same bank, same amount of money deposited in demand deposit, time deposit. And same, this criteria, this will be getting 20 crore, 20 crore each. And some totaling equals to 100 crore. Now, in fractional reserve banking system, if F will come and ask for money, okay. So in this case, obviously, bank will give him the loan. Why? Because under fractional under partial or fractional reserve banking system f will get loan as the bank will now use its demand deposit to cover the loan after using time deposit getting suppose this as the time deposit of this bank has exhausted by giving this customer this five customer now if f wants some money now bank will use what bank will use your demand deposit now from demand deposit if it will give F, whatever F needs according to the credit history, so it will give money, but using demand deposit, bank will not touch in that full uh, fractional reserve, in full reserve banking reserve system, bank would not touch this demand deposit, but in fractional bank will use this demand deposit to fund F. So you can see now F will be receiving your loan amount, okay, because bank has used both type of deposit. But what it will do, whether it will enhance the chances of bank run or whether it will reduce the chances of bank run think yes it will enhance the chances of bank run okay bank run will the condition for bank run is because this fractional reserve banking system will create a situation of bank run why because bank now uses demand deposit to fund their to fund the demands of the f if suppose bank has given 20 crore to f now bank is left with 80 crore under what demand deposit account if next day or the very next day so suppose bank has given loan to f for 10 years okay for 10 years it has given and the very next day all the customers of the bank of the all the customer of this sbi or hdfc bank come to that bank and ask for their money that is deposited in the demand demand deposit account so bank has to give them money bank cannot deny obviously because it is there they have bank has to bank is obligated to give back their money under bank account deposit demand deposit system okay so in this scenario fractional reserve system it always enhances the chance of bank run so it is said that uh, banks should not touch their demand deposit account to fund or to give any person loan okay so this system is prevalent in india okay that's why you can uh, take many example people they take loan and uh, and what happens they, they do not return their money it whether it rises in the at least to also at least also to one another concept npa which i'll be discussing next class but you in general you can see in people most of the people in india they take loan and they never repay so what happens bank will suffer a loss okay and the exact and the actual money actual money of the customer that he or she has been deposited in the bank will also lose because bank has given some fraud the money and he has taken back okay he has taken and never returned the money so these are the conditions which follow this fractional reserve banking system is followed in india but Full reserve banking is followed in European standard. It in developed in developed country, you can say yes. In developed country, full reserve banking system has has been followed. But in India, in India, it has been followed for fractional or partial reserve banking system. Because in India, you know, uh, there is a more it, it is a developing country, and uh, we need more finance. This uh, sector like agriculture, MSME, they are in, they they depend on the finance from the bank. They do not have much money or investor with them. And our economy is based on this MSME and agriculture. So bank has to give loan using their demand deposit. Okay. If bank will rely, if Indian banks will rely only time deposit to finance the need of this customer. So most of the segment, most of the people from agriculture and MSME segment will not be getting loan. So which will hamper the economic growth of our, of our India. Okay. So I have made one question, UPSC prelims based type question on this very concept. Solve and you can comment in our. Uh, description you can comment and we'll, I will get back to you with the answer. Okay, so I'm reading this just a question. Consider the following statement with respect to full banking system. Statement one says that banks are strictly prohibited from lending out demand deposit. Okay, 
इट्स पर्स इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ एंड एनहेंस बैंक एंड सिचुएशन एंड इकोनॉमी विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट गिव अब इज और आर कर I hope that you have understand this concept. Okay, you can uh, see previous slides also to again revise this portion. This is this is very trending topic. It's very important, and just two things you have to keep in mind: uh, that uh, demand deposit and time deposit account, and in which case, in which banking system people will be getting a loan. And the third question will come: whether it is beneficial uh, for Indian economy or not. With which which type of banking reserve system is beneficial for Indian economy? Okay. Okay guys see you next time okay bye